Fox 66 News is your local election headquarters. During election seasons, political advertising is everywhere. Sometimes it feels like it's nearly impossible to avoid it, whether it's seeing a commercial on TV, the internet, or even in the mail. And we're already seeing accusations in political advertising pick up. Tonight, Matt Mathias spoke to a local politician and a political analyst about what voters should expect to see this fall. Matt. Well, Jen, with the rise of technology, advertising feels like it's more in our faces than ever before. And more often than not, dark and untraceable money is what pays for political mudslinging. If you live in Mill Creek, Fairview, or anywhere in Pennsylvania's 3rd District, you've likely received this flyer in the mail. It claims State Representative Ryan Bizarro supports an abusive politician who was wanted by police in April. Everything about those claims turned out to be false, according to Bizarro, who hopes to warn voters about misinformation this election season. So now they're trying to use this, this poor guy's uh, uh, personal health issues uh, for, for cheap political gain, and that, that's just unacceptable. Bizarro says the mailers come from a pack called the Commonwealth Leaders Fund, and it's paid for with dark money. These garbage mailers that come in the mail, it's not it. People can say and do whatever they want, and they're completely immune from it. It's, it's dark money. Uh, they are investing that to try to influence elections in Erie County. They're looking to to buy a, a seat in the House of Representatives. And that's not going to happen. Our voters are smarter than that. A local political expert explains that dark money is untraceable to a single source, and it's been utilized much more in recent years due to a Supreme Court ruling known as Citizens United versus the Federal Elections Commission. What this means for us is that we have certain nonprofit organizations that are allowed to collect money from anonymous donors and then use that money to fund political activities. And this is incredibly challenging. We just don't know where the money comes from. Morris says historically our system for regulating how money is spent is based on the idea that voters should know exactly where money is coming from and adds since the ruling that train of thought was abandoned. It was the 10th mailer the fund has sent out in District 3 this year and Morris says it likely won't be the last directed at any candidate in the running. We are undoubtedly going to see a lot of uh, dark money in Erie County. Erie County is among the most critical counties in the entire United States in this upcoming election. So we are going to just be bombarded with advertisements. Now, both Bizarro and Morris say voters should always pay attention to where advertisements are coming from and to do your own research. Jen. All right, Matt, thank you. And for all your election updates, go to our website, yourerie.com.